Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 27 maart 2016. Zomertijd. Het is de bulletin van zondag. Jongen, jongen, dat was me het rondetje wel vanmiddag. Today's bulletin will be completely in English. I would especially like to say hello and welcome to our English language listeners during weekends via the internet streams of the repeater, YouTube and Shorties FM. We will start with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB, followed by several news items in English. After that we will have the Morse code, some more Hell X9 at 1500 Hz, so Hell X9, just like yesterday at 1500 Hz, and an SSTV image in BW12. By the way, I forgot to mention yesterday, but the SSTV image uh, of yesterday with the PI2 NOS text was supplied by PD0AC. Hello, this is Nick Bennett, 2E0FGQ, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News for Sunday, 27th of March, 2016, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. And now the Radio Propagation Report, compiled by G0KYA, G4BAO and G3YLA on Thursday the 24th of March. This week has seen more settled geomagnetic conditions, with the K-index hovering around 2, although Wednesday saw it spike up to 4 due to a high-speed solar wind stream from a coronal hole. Sunspot-wise, the solar surface was a little lacklustre with just one sunspot group visible. This pushed the solar flux index to the high 80s. The current image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft shows extensive coronal holes on both hemispheres. These don't bode well for settled geomagnetic conditions over the next week. The solar flux index is predicted to remain around 90, and although both NOAA and the US Air Force are predicting settled geomagnetic conditions, the SDO Extreme Ultraviolet image suggests otherwise. With a geo-effective coronal hole rotating into position on the Sun, we could get a geomagnetic storm before the end of the Easter weekend, with subsequent negative effects on the HF bands. The good news is that the VK0EK Heard Island de-expedition is underway. The best band and times to work them from the UK appear to be 15 metres from 0600 to 1400 UTC with potential 17 and 12 metre openings around the same time. There'll be a shorter opening on most of the bands at various times of the day and night, so see the VK0EK website for more details. And now the VHF and up propagation news. Last week was poor for Tropo, despite some forecasts saying otherwise, and it looks like another poor week with low pressure dominating, especially over the north and east of the country. This means April showers type weather is most likely. Since these can often bring large, towering cumulonimbus clouds with heavy rain, this provides some prospect of rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. On the lower VHF bands, it's not too long to wait now for the sporadic E season. There was one report last week on 4 metres, with a focus centred over the Apennine Mountains of central Italy. And this was probably due to a jet stream being disturbed over the mountains. Keep a look out on 10 metres for the characteristic short skip conditions as your early season indicators. The RSGB Propagation Forum will have a map of the jet stream locations each day to guide you where to look. A week for EME system repairs is coming up as moon declination is at its lowest on Wednesday, meaning only short, low elevation windows. The moon is coming back towards us next week, but path losses are still high. And that's it for this week from the propagation team. Don't forget that the clocks change at 01 hours on the 27th of March for the start of British summertime. And if you're listening to this after that event... We hope you remembered. This means that all times given as UTC in this bulletin are one hour earlier than local time. Ofcom has announced measures to help ensure adequate spectrum is available for the so-called Internet of Things and to encourage investment and innovation in this developing technology. The Internet of Things is set to enable large numbers of previously unconnected devices to communicate and share data with one another, a process known as machine-to-machine communications. 
Ofcom is allocating a total of 10 MHz of VHF spectrum, including 70.5 to 71.5 MHz. That in 2015, Ofcom agreed could also be used by radio amateurs for digital experimentation using a special research permit. Section 4.30 of Ofcom's statement says radio amateurs will continue to be permitted temporary access to the 70.5 to 71.5 MHz band. Joe Taylor, K1JT, has been named as the 2016 Dayton Hamvention Amateur of the Year. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1993 for the discovery of the first orbiting pulsar, leading to observations that established the existence of gravitational waves. Joe was first licensed in 1954 as KN2ITP. And since his retirement, he's been developing and enhancing digital protocols for weak signal amateur radio communications, including JT65 and WSPR Whisper. In the April edition of RADCOM, reference was made to GB2RS newsreading in Northern Ireland within the GB2RS report. It suggested that there were no newsreaders there or in the Isle of Man and the GB2RS manager G3VBA would like to apologise for the error, as there are in fact a number of excellent newsreaders in Northern Ireland, some of whom have been reading the news for many years. There are, however, no newsreaders yet on the Isle of Man. The RSGB sends its apologies to all those newsreaders in Northern Ireland, and its grateful thanks for their service to the amateur radio community. A new video has been released by the European Space Agency showing a summary of astronaut Tim Peake's Principia mission so far. It can be viewed at, and here's the long uh, URL, https colon slash slash utu, that's y-o-u-t-u dot b-e forward slash five capital P-h lowercase p capital F four lowercase x-n-v uppercase k-q. On the 21st of March, the UBSEDS-14 balloon launched by the University of Bristol students completed its circumnavigation of the Northern Hemisphere. During the flight, at an altitude of about 11.5 kilometres, the balloon transmitted telemetry data at four-minute intervals using Contestia 16-1000 on 434.6 MHz USB with an output power of just 3 milliwatts. Each telemetry packet was preceded by 10 seconds of 1 Hz pips for manual alignment and an RSID tone for automatic alignment with suitable software. Additionally, the payload had the capability for 144 MHz APRS. An initial meeting for all those interested in broadband hamnet, a system of digital communications on the amateur microwave bands, will be held on the 22nd of May at the HQ of Crawley Amateur Radio Club. The organisers hope to attract attendees from across the country. And there'll be presentations, demonstrations and open discussions. If you're interested, please contact TED, G4ELM, via email to bbhn.event.2016 at gmail.com and you'll be able to receive a copy of the agenda and to let him know if you plan to attend this event. And now, news of two important consultations close at the end of March. These concern the future of the three UK 5 MHz beacons, namely GB3RAL, GB3WES and GB3ORK. And input to the papers for the April IARU Region 1 interim meeting. Comments from all UK amateurs are invited via the RSGB Consultations Forum, which includes guidance and links to the papers. Please go to the section entitled Forums on the main RSGB website page. From Australia, this is VK1WIA. With international news, I'm Jason, VK2LAW. Intruders on trains. Man in trouble for cell phone jammer on public train. A 63-year-old financial analyst is facing serious charges in the USA because he used a cell phone jammer on a public train. Seems he hated people talking on their phones so much that he decided to use the jammer anyway. The man opened a beer and surveyed the car. Scowling as he saw another rider talking on a cell phone a few feet away, he pulled a clunky black device topped with five antennas from his pocket and switched it on. 
Almost instantly, commuters, who had been talking on their phones, had their signals go silent. So, here in VK, no jammers nor beer please, both illegal, particularly the green bottles on trains. Zoek, zoek, zoek in het fietsenhok. Lodewijk is weg. 